Woo! What's going on, guys? Orms Forum coming at you guys with another video, and uh, I'm gonna be doing back to back videos here. Um, obviously, I'm doing the training camp observations, uh, but I wanted to be talk. I, I want to talk a little bit about what happened today with the Detroit Lions and day two of training camp. This is not an, um, an observation. Um, I'm going to talk about that in my next video, but this one, I just want to talk about it um, because it, something almost really happened bad to the Detroit Lions, and it was uh, C.J. Gardner Johnson, you know, the nickel, the nickel cornerback uh, safety, the hybrid, um, went down hard today. Um, non -con non contact injury. Um, don't really know the what really happened, but he came down on his right leg, clutched his leg, clutched his knee, down like a shot. He was punching his leg too, he, um, or like punching his knee. He was so so nervous or, or so frustrated on what happened, and uh, it raised some huge concerns uh, through Lions Nation. Um, I was at work when this happened, but my phone started blowing up like crazy. Got a couple buddies that were that were texting me. I was getting notifications on Facebook, Twitter, and all that. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Um, what happened? You know, at first I thought it was an emergency, but then I looked and I saw that it was Twitter, and I was like, okay. And then I saw Facebook, and I saw it was all Lions related. I'm like, uh-oh, someone got hurt. That, that's exactly what I thought. And I was right, man. Um, but he's fine. He's fine, just like Captain Man. I'm okay. And uh, <laughs> it was... Um, it was scary for a minute though, um, because those type of injuries and those guys go down, non-contact, knee, you're thinking a tear, ACL, MCL, yeah, you're thinking the worst. So it went from zero to 100 really quick with what happened with him. Um, he was carted off the field, you know, Jared Goff went over to him, Isaiah Bugs, you know, they were consoling him, there were guys concerned, you know, they, that they had um, uh, comments from guys like Taylor Decker saying that, you know, this is a big blow, but we got to march on. We got to continue to to go on, you know, and hopefully he can come back. This is before we all knew what was really going on with the injury. And it's still, it's still up in the air a little bit, but he had no no um, permanent damage or, or, or um, serious damage to that knee, but he is day-to-day -day at the moment. So at first... At first, you're thinking season ending. You don't know what's going to happen. Who's going to who's going to fill in? We're going to see guy. We're going to see Brian Branch now. now. Now the Brian Branch era begins. You know the rookie out of Alabama picked him up, <clears throat> got him um, a little bit later than usual. Um, second round, 45th overall. Uh, crazy that he dropped, but you know he was going to be he was going to be kind of eased in slowly. You're thinking, oh my, oh my, let's go. The rookie's in there now. Now so. Um, and then it goes from out for the season. Then it goes to two months. He's out a little bit. I was going to get some kind of something happened to his meniscus or something like that. I saw that on Twitter. It seemed like a fake account. Um, obviously, it was fake because he, the guy was saying that he talked to some doctor and that uh, uh, C.J. Garner Johnson was in great spirits. He was eating goldfish, popping some goldfish in his mouth, joking with joking with trainers and and, and, and the doctors and whatnot. So it went from a season to two months. And then guys like Tom Pelissaro and you saw Field Yates, the fantasy football guy from ESPN, he came out and said that no no considerate, considerable structural damage to that knee. He's day-to-day. -day, he's going to be okay. So we still need to hear from Dan Campbell. Um, we didn't really hear too much. I, I didn't really see anything that he said after practice. Um, even though I did some of my uh, my observations from day two, we'll talk about that later. But didn't get anything from him, so I'm sure he'll be talking tomorrow. It's going to be the first thing that's going to be on the plate um, from reporters. We want to know what's going on with C.J. Garner Johnson. Um, but somebody was looking out for him, uh, the football gods, and you know, in the past, you know, in, like in the past when something like this happens, especially to our to our team and I don't want to do the woe is me thing but this would have this would have been he would have been gone for the year it just it just feels like you know somebody was looking out somebody was looking out man the fantasy football gods are not even fantasy just <laughs> the football gods were looking out here because um, this because this could have been a considerable considerate 
um, blow to the uh, uh, the Lions defense, especially that secondary, man. They revamped that whole thing. They revamped that whole defense, that, that, especially the secondary, and that guy was going to be a leader. He's a pest. He's a dog. The guy led the... He, he was tied for the lead in interceptions last year on a much better defense. Let's let, let's be honest there, though. But he was making plays for the Philadelphia Eagles last year. And, you know, he came in. You know, he was looking for money. I don't think he got what he wanted. He wanted to go back to Philly, apparently. Um, Philly wasn't willing to pay him that type of money, I guess. And, uh, you know, he's, he, he, he went looking elsewhere. Didn't get what he wanted, apparently. And then, you know, Brown Holmes swooped in, picked him up for $6.5 million guaranteed, cap it at $4.5 million, and then incentives, possibly, he can earn up to $1.5 million um, in, bo- in bonuses. So we've got that opportunity coming, right? So um, great find by Brad Holmes. Um, how we talked him into coming here um, is just a credit to how good he is, how, how good Brad Holmes has been. So, you know... Um, I'm glad we dodged a bullet. We we absolutely dodged a bullet on this one. C.J. Garner Johnson is going to be fine. I think we're going to hear more about this. I'm sure he's going to be out for a little bit. He's going to have to take care of some things. Um, how long he's out for? Don't have a clue. But he's not out for the season. It doesn't seem like he's going to be out for long, long. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's going to be out until week one or anything like that. I don't really know that. Um, I'm sure he's going to be back practicing, but when, don't know. But I just wanted to kind of get that, get this video out of the way. Obviously, I'll touch on it a little bit more on the next video, but this was a pretty, I wanted to kind of make this a singular video, do the lone video on this one, because this guy is is going to be a good problem for us. Um, he's a good football player. You know, he's one of the, he's one of the top 10, I think, safety, safety nickel hybrid kind of defensive players in the NFL you know he's not the perfect player but he's a good player and uh it would have been a huge significant loss if we would have lost this guy for even if we would have lost him for two months he comes back week five week six or whatever um and if we would have lost him for the season it would have been tough you know but you got to march on obviously the season wouldn't have been over but it would have been the Brian Branch area uh era begun a little bit earlier than expected and then um, they would have been scouring the waiver wire as well. And maybe Brad would have made it, made a move. Who knows? But C.J. Garner Johnson is okay. He's fine. You know, banged up, obviously. Probably be hurting a little bit. Um, it'll be day-to-day. He's day-to-day. So that's a good sign that he's day-to-day. He's not out for the season. So I just want to kind of get that one off the chest there. And then we'll go back to the other one uh, on the next one. But thanks a lot, guys. Um... Go Lions, one pride. Let's go. CJ Gardner Johnson. Football gods are looking after you, brother. We need you. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Boom. Go Lions, one pride. Bang. Thanks, guys.